So I've seen this question asked quite a few times uh, before, and that is how to get the square of a number or how to square root a number and whatnot. And I want to clarify it once and for all here. So there's a library, there's a header file called math.h. So you have to include that first to do anything related to math, basically. And inside this library, there are a couple functions that we're going to take a look at. The first one is called pow. And this guy pow will take in two numbers that are double, right? That are of type double, basically, if I declare here double a equals, let's say, I don't know, let's say three and double b equals um, four, right? And if I want to raise a to the power of b, I would get a, I would give it a b, right? And it will also return back a double. So I'm gonna actually store this in a result and say a result equals that. And to see the result on the screen, we can just say percent %f and simply say res here. And if I try to run this, you'll notice I get 81, right? And that is actually three to the power of four. So we get a proper result. If you want to just square the number, instead of passing b here, you just have to pass in two. And that will also be valid. And as you can see, I got nine because that's eight to the power of two, that's three to the power of two, which is nine. So it makes sense. Cool. Now, one of the issues I have here is that uh, many people are using pow, but are passing in float instead. So you're just gonna use float here, right? Just float, float, and float, right? And I can run this, nothing is gonna change. It's gonna work properly, but there are gonna be a lot of, um, a lot of conversions happening here, right? Because this is a double, this has to be a double. So uh, behind the scenes, uh, C is going to convert this to a double every single time. So I'm gonna, it's gonna first have to convert A to a double, to, I'm not sure, I don't think it can, it should convert that to a double, but it's going to also convert the result to a double. See, this guy is going to return a double and you're actually storing it inside a float. So it's going to, again, uh, do another conversion. So let's do conversions just for this simple function. And there's a simple fix to avoid this conversion. Just suffix the power, the power name with f, just say power f. And now, instead of taking in doubles and returning doubles, this function will take in floats and return floats. So no longer do you have to actually convert anything and it still works the same exact way. Now on to getting the square root. Let's say we want, let's say we have float a equals, I don't know, let's say 81, right? So to get a square root, well, very simple, just call in the square root function. So you can say sqrt and uh, a and that's it, right? So if you launch this, you're gonna get the result nine, which is Correct, because nine to the power of two is actually 81. But this is not quite nice. As I said before, again, square root, the same as pow, is actually taking in doubles here and it's returning a double. If we go to the definition of this, you'll notice, as you can see here, there's a double for the return type and uh, double for the actual parameter. So what we need to say is instead sqrtf. And that's going to work exactly the same way due to the conversions from before, but it's not gonna do any more conversions. Like we don't have to convert a to a double when passing it, and we don't have to uh, convert the result to a double. As a matter of fact, you don't really need to know this sqrt functions, you can just use the pow function to get the square root. If you want to, you can just use here, for example, and use pow f because I'm dealing with floats and I, I can just simply raise a to the power of one over whatever uh, root I want. So I can say um, one over two, but that's not really okay because that's going to be converted to, well, zero. So I have to say uh, either 1.0f over 2.0f or I have to say 0.5f. And if I run this, you'll notice that now I get nine. So that's correct. And you can do the same for any sort of power. If you want to get the cube root, you just change this to a three, right? And well, now the cube root is going to be a number, but if I change this to, for example, let's say 27, because we know the cube root of 27 is, well, it's three. And uh, that also works. So this works in any language. You don't really, uh, this is not really C specific, but uh, just so you know, if you want to get uh, any root of a number, you can actually do this using the power functions. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you got something out of this video. If you have any questions, do leave them down in the comments below or on our Discord server. Take care. Bye.